the greatest challenges? Well, uh, I would say there are so many. Of course, the first one would be to put the economy, the American economy and the world economy, right back on its track. I think uh, it's uh, the greatest challenge of the day. Nothing can be, I think, improved in the short term if uh, we don't realize that we have a real great common problem, which is the chaotic situation of the world economy. So I would say that the first and perhaps most difficult challenge Obama as President of the United States and leader of the world has is to put the economy of the world back in its own strength. Well, we have a lot to learn. We have to lo a lot to learn. First of the campaign, I think the campaign has been an excellent campaign, a lesson of how a politician must act when he is facing an enormous, uh, huge electorate, very mixed the sort of way he has to address many people and many people and many different ages and many different, uh, different ethnics people. So, um, Obama has given a real lesson. Uh, then not only that, the, the transition and uh, the, the fact that he has been uh, a gentleman, a real gentleman, he and the others, is also a lesson for you in the way this transition, the, the, the transmission of, of power, the way it was done, it was really a lesson. It was a really beautiful uh, series of events when everybody acted its best. So I think that uh, we must uh, acknowledge that uh, Americans know how to do these things. I suppose that we must say that his legacy will be judged on moral grounds. And when I say moral grounds, I refer that America has been leader of the world precisely because we all accepted that leadership because they were the leaders of a free world. We were nations, we are nations, free nations, that are known free will except the leadership of a country like America because they, America represents the best ideals we have been fighting for since the end of the world war. So we, I think that uh, in the end, uh, what Obama will leave us as a legacy will be the America that we have always believed in, America that has been our natural leader, because we all believed in the ideals. So when people say imperialist America, I always say no, they are not imperialists, they are leaders because we want to be led by this America that represents the best of the ideals we have been fighting for creating this international new world around these ideas.